It's gonna go for five seconds. All right. This is like going into surgery. Count to 10, everybody. What's all the hype about CO2 testing for mites? Everybody's been asking me questions. Is this really legitimate? It's a CO2 gun that uh, has carbon dioxide cartridges with it, CO2 cartridges. It comes with a container and you put your bees in here, you anesthetize them with the CO2, they fall asleep, so do the mites. The mites fall off, you count your mites, the bees wake up and go home. Sounds too good to be true, is it? Let's take a look today. Hey everybody, David Burns, good to be with you, Beak Squad. I'm having a live stream tonight at seven o'clock if you're watching this when I'm releasing this video on the same day. Every Thursday though, 7 p.m. live stream, you can check it out in the description below and you can join me for every live stream that I have Hey, it's a time for us to get together as a community of beekeepers, ask questions, talk about what's up in beekeeping. But what's up today is we're actually going to take this out in the field and test it. I actually tested this many, many years ago, like 600 years ago. That's <laughs> it seems like it's been that long. It has been a long time ago, actually, when it first came out. I really don't think they make this anymore. Now, other bee companies do make something similar to this, same kind of gun, um, but... I'll tell you what, well, I don't want to tell you the secret yet. We'll, we'll talk about that later. I've got an inside secret about this, but I'm going to use this one because I don't have the other one. And we're going to get about 300 bees and, and we're going to put them to sleep. And then we're going to test and see how many mites we get. And after that, I'm going to take them and put them in alcohol to see if we get any more that didn't fall off when we did it this way. How comparative is this mite test CO2 where the bees wake up and stretch and fly and go home versus an alcohol wash is it more accurate, but the alcohol wash kills the bees. Before we jump in the field though, let me tell you that even though this is still sold today, I think under a different name, these little guns cost about $25, now not counting the little cartridges that you're gonna buy. And I wanna find out how many mite tests can I actually perform with one of these cartridges. The instructions are on my lid here, and it says we need to spray the CO2 in here for four to six seconds. How about five? <laughs> Why couldn't they just say five? But we'll do it five seconds. We'll see how many bursts can we get, five second bursts out of these, and see, you know, is it gonna cost a lot more? But already you're buying a gun for $25 that doesn't come with a container. And so you're kind of, really you're spending a lot more than you would just on an alcohol watch. Now back in the old days, people, I've been around for a long time. I've been around, I've been around so long. I was around before the Dead Sea got sick. That's how old I am. <laughs> and so I've been around a long time with beekeeping. In the old days of beekeeping, when we first decided we could test for mites like this, here's what we did. We got two mason jars taped them together with a screen in the middle. <laughs> I mean, that's what we did. We had all these uh, ways of just making things happen. Somebody asked me in my YouTube comment, here's what they said. David, have you heard about green drone comb? I learned a new way that you can trap mites in a green drone comb and you can control mites without, you know, using chemicals. 15 years ago, I was teaching about green drone comb and using it for mite control. I'm not gonna say that you can tell me something and I'll be like, oh, wow, I've never heard of that. It does happen. But for the most part, I've got a video on it. <laughs> I've got a lot of videos on green drone comb. And it is a good way to control mites. This is not a mite control method. This is to test for mites. Some people confuse the two. You can test for mites using powdered sugar, alcohol wash, CO2, or you can actually control mites using a green drone comb or powdered sugar dusting without ever using um, some type of chemical treatment. But the two are different. So don't confuse treatments versus testing. And so what we're gonna do is test today. But before we do, let's go ahead and get this baby out of the box and let's give it a test. Actually, um, the company gave me this many, many, many years ago at an EES conference. They were there and they were actually explaining uh, how this can be used without having to kill bees. And we tested it at EAS. Myself, my friend uh, John Zvishlock, 
and uh, Steve Rapatsky, and I made a video on it. The video is still posted on here, and so um, you can watch that. Uh, well, let's see if we can figure this out. I'm just kind of, I never read instructions, you know, until everything goes bad, and then I'm like, I should have read the instructions. Right now, I'm just screwing things together, unscrewing stuff. Probably need to wear safety glasses. You know, this is like pressurized gas or something. Maybe I'll keep my eyes shut. Have you guys ever welded with your eyes squinched a little bit? <laughs> Don't do that. I'm not saying I have, but you do weird things sometimes. All right, I would think this is gonna work pretty good. What does that red tab do? Is that a safety? It's not working now. Oh, I'll push the red tab up. Let's see if it works for five seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Oop, oh. Wow, and so it's all being dispersed at one time. Time to read the instructions. <laughs> oh, here are the instructions. It's a blank page. It shouldn't be that hard to figure out. Well, obviously, ow, that's cold. Obviously I did something wrong. What did I, why didn't that, well now it's working after it's bleed it out. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Already I like an alcohol wash better, don't you? Well, I better not use any more. I'm not sure what the little red switch is. Let's say it's a, that should have been down maybe, but my, the trigger just got stuck and wouldn't release. So I'm not sure about that, but we got plenty of, I got two more cartridges for you guys. And so we'll try these two on a test. But again, you know, you're gonna have to buy this for 25, 30 bucks, have it shipped to you. And uh, wow, there's ice over the cartridge too. And then you're gonna have to buy this as well. But I know you're anxious for me to try it. Let's get to work. Now, before we spray the CO2 in, let me thank you guys for being a part of my YouTube channel. Stuff like this, where are you gonna find it? I'm testing out things for you guys. I'm helping you. And so if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe, click on the bell. You'll be notified each time I make another video about stuff like this. If you don't click on the bell, you won't get notified. So thank you so much. It's gonna go for five seconds. All right. This is like going into surgery. Count to 10, everybody. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. All right. That gave them a big swirl. Did you see that? I don't think that was good. And uh, so now they are fast asleep. Let's see if we can maybe hear them snoring. So that also put the mites to sleep. So apparently we're supposed to shake it. Let me read. Uh, let's see, oh, shake for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't want to shake too much, nine. 10, 11, <laughs> trying to get some mites to show up. For some reason I'm not seeing any mites. Maybe, no, <laughs> let's keep trying. Maybe I have uh, um, the hive I took them from, took them off the uh, area of the brood area, but dang, not really getting any mites that I can see. Well, let's, uh, we did it for 10 seconds, so that's that. We can take this off. Oh, okay, I do see mites. You can see right up here we have two mites there. So I only see uh, two mites and some bee lost her leg, unfortunately. But there we go, two mites. So what we wanna do now is go ahead and use the Saracel method. This is a container. I've made a lot of videos uh, last summer on this one. It's the alcohol wash. So we're gonna do an alcohol wash to see if we get any more. Oh, you know, we're supposed to check this. Sometimes they said mites actually stick inside of here. Let me roll it around and look, see if I see any mites. Oh, look, I do see a mite. I see a mite right here in the middle. So we're gonna go with three three mites, and I wonder if any is on the inside of it. Let me look carefully. Three is what our number is now, out of 300. Okay, I don't see any more. 
Oh, also we're going to test to see, will these bees really wake up? They're wiggling a little bit. Look at that. Let's lay them on something here. I want to see how many of these bees actually uh, recover from being put to sleep. I do know in some of the research I did from a study that was done in the 50s that said anesthetizing bees, am I saying that right? Anesthetizing uh, actually uh, doesn't really change their longevity all that much. Oh, I need these again for an alcohol wash. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Well, I'm going to say they're going to wake up because you can see them wiggling and festooning. All right, well, that makes sense. Let's just go with their, their they are waking up. They go with me. All right, we'll save some to see if they wake up. These we're going to test with an alcohol wash to see if we get any more mites. Let's make sure our container is free of mites from the last test. I do like these cell cell containers to test for mites. Let's go ahead and put our alcohol in. For those of you who feel that an alcohol wash is just something you can't do, you can't kill bees to test for mites, I, I totally understand that. But I'm gonna say this again, I've used this example before, but to me it's a lot like your body, bees are a single organism, your body is a single organism. Um, you know, your body, um, you have to kill, like if you get cancer, you have to kill good cells to actually kill the bad uh, cancer cells. So you, you sacrifice some of your body so that your main body can live. And so I feel like if we sacrifice 300 bees in a mite test and control mites, then we are actually saving a lot more bees long term. All right, let's just do an alcohol wash, see what kind of numbers we get here. Put the lid on it. And slosh around. To me, this gets a better uh, measurement of mites, but it may not. Uh, we'll see. We'll slosh this around. Hmm. Now, I recommend when you do an alcohol wash that uh, you actually go ahead and slosh bees around once in the alcohol. That basically kills them. And then wash them two or three more times at least two more times with just plain water to see if you can wash off any more mites. So the CO2 got three off of them. Let's see if we get any more here. You think we've done that long enough, sloshing them around a little bit? All right, let's do a little test to see. I'll put it on this one. Oh, I did get more mites. Ooh, I did get more mites. One, two, that's pollen. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I did get five more mites on the alcohol wash and you saw it for yourself, people. So that's a total of eight mites per 300. Well, the bees, <laughs> They just flew off. The bees are waking up actually. So that's a good sign. I did the five seconds, you saw me do it. And you can see here the bees are just starting to come awake and fly off. But boy, that really swirled them around. I think I would spray it differently again. So let's do the math on our infestation level of mites. So we have eight mites out of 300 bees. So that's gonna be a percentage of 2.66, which is below the threshold of three. And so what I'll be doing now is doing some queen confinement in her queen cage for a week or so for the next, uh, once a week for the next two or three months. And that will give me the edge to keep it at that level and even reduce it a little more, not having to use treatments. Now we could say that you could use this and just add numbers to it to make it come out more accurately. But even that's not true. With the number of mites that we got out of this, even if we doubled it, it doesn't give us the number that we actually got on the alcohol wash. So it's a little unpredictable. So the, what happens, I think, is when you use CO2, um, 
you know, the bees go to sleep, the mites go to sleep, some of the, a couple of mites here are waking up, bees are waking up, I like that. But the problem is that they still are clinging to the bees. Um, and alcohol wash has a better effect on washing the mites off of the bees. And this is not a very scientific approach. I really need to do this 30 times, 30 different ways, upside down, inside out, blah, blah, blah. But just a backyard little experiment on doing one test and using the same bees again to see if I can get more uh, mites off with alcohol wash, that proved that I don't really need to study it anymore. <laughs> I pretty much uh, have decided that alcohol wash is gonna be a winner for me. I have put together online beekeeping courses. I've got beekeeping courses on mite control. Not just stuff like this, but how do you control mites? This is the way to test for mites. I have a mite control course that you can take online. I've got how to raise your own queens, an online course for that. Basic beginners, if you're thinking about starting beekeeping next year, got a class that helps you learn the basics of beekeeping. How to overwinter your bees. I have a whole class on that, talking about fat bodies, phytelogenesis, bees of winter physiology. Wow, that's coming up pretty soon. So you might wanna take that class if you've not. I've got another class on spring management. In fact, it just, I have so many courses that you need to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description right here and on the screen. Check that out because I want you to be really educated in beekeeping. Beekeeping is a lot more fun when you have a little idea about what you're doing. You don't have to know everything, but you need to know a little bit. <laughs> a beekeeping classes, you can watch them at your own pace in your home. It's not a Zoom meeting. You can just sit there and pause it and just get a cup of coffee. Hey, by the way, I've got a cup here. Look at that from EAS. So check out the link below and check out my online courses. Got a coffee mug from EAS. Oh, that's so nice. I wonder if they did that just for me because they know I love coffee mugs. EAS this year out in Amherst, Massachusetts at the university there, University of Massachusetts. Great time, I spoke three times and I proctored, or I was a team leader for proctoring the uh, field exam for Master Beekeeper candidate. So I, I kept pretty busy all that week. Didn't make a lot of videos like I had hoped. I just made a new video guys on wrong techniques you can make in the month of August when you're doing in your inspections. I don't want you to do that. So you gotta watch this video right here so that you can make the proper inspections in August without making these mistakes. See you over there.